Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. The doctor's office. It's not a doctor's there? office. You didn't even let me finish my sentence. Who's they doing the doctor's office? Hey guys. Hey guys, what? Hey, keep it up. It's real close to the door. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's the second video of the day. I'm back with a Sakpa haul. Excuse my head wrap right now. I just threw something on my head because my hair is looking a little bit crazy. I had a bun in. I took it out. I've been rolling around in the bed all day sleeping because your girl's sleep has been off but that's besides the point that's not what we're here for um i have another stockpile haul for you that i wanted to show you guys and it's pretty much the same stuff that i always buy but i just wanted to show you the update and what i continue to buy and how i'm building my stockpile so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so first we're gonna start with these waters i got three more distilled waters the max that you could get was three so i just picked up three so every time i get a grocery order i'm just gonna pick up a few waters um just so we can have you can never have enough water um i got two of these golden honey o's um I, yo, I love this cereal i don't like cereal but i absolutely love cereal as dessert like at night <laughs> and this is kind of like my favorite cereal but i didn't buy it obviously to eat it right now i'm going to put it in a five gallon bucket with some oxygen absorbers um to keep it fresh for she hit the fan i also got some of these sun belt um granola bars so i got the oats and honey two of those two of the fudge dip chocolate chips and then two of the regular chocolate chips and i'm gonna take them out of the box go ahead and put them in a five gallon bucket that already have some fig bars and some raisins in and then i'm gonna put some and a couple oxygen absorbers in there to keep them fresh i also have some more saltine crackers um i bought five boxes of these um this time um so self-explanatory crackers are a good thing to have and then on to the beans so we have four cans of black beans four cans of tricolor beans four cans of lentils four cans of dark red kidney beans and then four cans of pinto beans so just keeping up with my um bean storage because beans are a great source of protein um i also have another 20 pound bag of um mahat mahatma <laughs> mahatma um i think that's how you pronounce it jasmine rice so i have a total of three bags and then i have i think two five gallon buckets back there of rice so i have plenty of rice um i did get four um boxes of penne some apple cider vinegar um some sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce um i normally make my own barbecue sauce but um just for a shit hit the fan situation you never know when food is gonna get like a little bland and you need a little sauce to you know spice things up <laughs> and i got um another thing of coconut oil i have i think four containers up there so this would be the fifth container you know coconut oil is for good all kinds of good things you can just eat it um healthy source of fat a slather on your skin um i think it's like a fire starter um, it's good for antiseptic purposes. Coconut oil is a must-have. It's good for so many things. I got some more pink salt, two cans of salmon, some more coconut milk. I got some bouillon. This has been a new addition to my stockpile. I bought two last week, so I just bought two more. Um, I figured it's a good idea, you know, to flavor things up if you need to. I got four um four pound packages of spaghetti um and this is another new addition um to my stockpile um they were a little pricey for soup but actually not that bad they were 338 each and um 
I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand, but they make pasta sauce and their pasta sauce is stupid expensive. But I was able to get these for $3.38 each. And I like them because one, they're in glass bottles and they have pretty good ingredients in them. Um, and I'm just always concerned about the BPA and some of the ingredients in soups and in a situation if we have to eat this um, because it's gonna go bad or something like that I would feel more comfortable giving my kids something like this so I picked up four of those um, I got six things of sugar finally I haven't been able to get sugar in quite some time um, but I actually ordered ten they gave me six so I'm happy with that and then I got I could have sworn I ordered four of these cinnamon apple sauces but they only gave me three I'm pretty sure I ordered four but I'll double check um, but I got some of those um, these cinnamon apple sauces um, just to you know have on hand for the kids and all of that good stuff and it's a shit hit the fan situation so let's go ahead and move on to the non-food items so the non-food items i got aluminum foil now aluminum foil is not something that i use on an everyday basis i don't use it to cook i don't use it for anything <laughs> pretty much um, just when I have like parties and I need to like cover things up with I will use it but um, because aluminum foil once heat is introduced to it it activates like a carcinogen if I'm not mistaken um, so I don't use it but for a shit hit the fan situation I feel that it's necessary to have because if you need to cook something over a flame or something along those lines you know you need to have it so i picked up one of those i picked up two things of ajax dish soap i love this because you can use it to wash clothes i actually use um ajax dish soap to wash my clothes now i just feel like it does a better job it strips my clothes um of like all those heavy detergents so i really really love it um yeah so you can do all kind of stuff with these i got two big ones i got three things of toothbrushes you can't ever have enough of those i got a bottle of conditioner this is a new addition to my stockpile i'm gonna start every time i do like a stockpile um, grocery run i'm gonna pick up some conditioner and then i got some castile soap because that's why what, what i wash my hair with is castile soap i don't use shampoo um so I'm going to start picking that up as well. I got some sanitary napkins. You know what? If you're a female, even if you're a man, <laughs> you know what that's about. You got to have that. So again, every time I do a stockpile run, I'm going to start picking up that stuff because it is very necessary. And I should hit the fan situation. I got three of the Yardley oatmeal and almond soaps and three of the English lavender. I got two things of alcohol rubbing alcohol uh i've been getting these um evolve beach tablets beach <laughs> y'all bleach tablets um i was buying bleach but someone in the comments told me that um after a while bleach turns into water or something like that i can't remember so she suggested i get the bleach tablets these are good if you need to purify water um just a little bit of it just to purify some dirty water in a she hit the fan situation but then it's nice to have these to like you know clean things and whatnot so um i started i have started to buy these so i got two this time i got some deodorant because you know just because it's a shit hit the fan situation don't mean you gotta be musty you know what i'm saying so i got two of those i already have some but i'm trying to stockpile up sorry i almost dropped my camera i got a big thing of children's ibuprofen and then two um children's um, acetaminophen i got a pack of gloves <laughs> now this um i'm pretty sure i did not buy this small ass thing of uncoated pleats <laughs> i'm pretty sure i bought the big one but i'm gonna double check my order but hey what the hell i mean i'm sure i could use it for something um i got two things of lysol wipes um yeah 
because you know you always gotta disinfect something i got a big thing of garbage bags um just so you can have one hand if you need to take the trash it, it get the trash situated and it should hit the fan situation i think those are great to have um did i show you guys spoons and forks i think i did so spoons and forks and then i got some tea light candles um because you can't ever have enough candles for a stockpile should hit the fan situation and that is pretty much it so, so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now is i'm going to put them on the shelf um i did a little work on the shelf earlier i put a little bit of cardboard down that way i can consolidate things or make a little bit more space <laughs> sorry um israel and my husband are playing around um so i can consolidate things a little bit better so i'm gonna put all this stuff on the shelf and then i will show you the end result Alrighty, guys i'm back so here is the bucket full of my granola bars fig bars um you can see some raisins in the corner right there so what i'm gonna do is throw in two oxygen oxygen absorbers and then i'm gonna seal it sorry this is very hard to do so i'm gonna seal this in a second i'm just gonna do a a light seal but i'm gonna come back and make sure it's sealed properly we have the things that i bought I have a container down there so I just washed out um, an old container that I had and I have some of the stuff that I bought in there plus some other things that I had on hand um, so that's that I'm about to seal that up this is pretty much the shelf so got my ramen I'm stocking up on those beans I ordered some more corn but um, they wanted to substitute it with a brand that I didn't like, so I didn't get that. So I have tons of salmon. Um, I want to fill up that row, so I'm going to get some more. My soups are up there. I have some more Amy's soups with pea soup, coconut um, milk, my tuna. Um, we have a bunch of utensils. Um, spoons, forks, spoons, forks, spoons, fork, and then I have some in a Ziploc bag right here, and then I need to get some more plates. I did order another one of these potato flakes, so that should be coming in the next few days. Um, I got this basmati rice. Um, they gave me the wrong thing in a grocery order, so I decided just to keep it. Um, my cinnamon applesauce, my little lonely jalapeno jar that I made um, is there. Some pickles back there, apple cider vinegar, peanut butter, um, Smucker's jam. I'm going to get some more of that. Um, honey. I could have sworn I bought more honey, but maybe I didn't. Um, pasta sauces I showed y'all earlier. I got a ton of crackers, so I'm probably not going to buy any more. Annie's mac and cheese, tea, um, some sugar in a raw, a bunch of cream of wheat, lots of peanuts. I'm not going to buy any more of those. Coconut oil, I'm going to get enough so I can fill that whole section some yeast baking soda diced peaches tons of pasta so i'm just gonna fill up this row and that's gonna be it for pasta i got my seasonings over here salt bouillon seasoning mixes creole seasoning um i saved the packets of the ramen um flavoring because we don't use it we just use the noodles but i figured it should hit the fan situation um that would be great to have two things of barbecue sauce gatorade for electrolytes even though i hate gatorade i think it's like one of the worst things that you can drink my husband has been buying a lot of juice so if that's what he wants to buy go for it babe so we have a bunch of juice and then i have my five gallon buckets of all kinds of stuff rice flour all that jazz um cereal oats and then i have a bunch of dried pinto beans right here and my husband bought some accidentally bought some ham beans so i'm not sure if we're gonna keep those because i don't know if the little seasoning packet inside is actual pork um but we shall see this is a cereal i'm not gonna seal it up yet because i need to buy another one to fill it up i should have bought three so i'm just gonna close the lid on that and then sugar so 
I need about four more like it's not focusing i need about four more bags of sugar so i'm not going to completely seal that up and with um sugar uh don't put oxygen absorbers in them because it makes the sugar hard at least it's what i read on the internet <laughs> so we'll see so have that there after i close the lid on that stuff i'm literally just going to sit the light soil stuff and the garbage bags on top of it what else um my bleach tablets some laundry detergent and um my dish soap i have some napkins here that i probably need to wrap up and and then i'll put it up there with all the other stuff some plastic cups if needed um a gas mask some matches you know these are all other stuff um, and I want to show you guys one last thing. Well, two last things. So I have this here and I'm going to start filling it up with some distilled water little by little. So I have some distilled water going. I'll show you guys my distiller. Um, sorry about the fan, but this is the pure water filter. It's a really amazing distiller. Um, I can't recommend it enough and this is what we use um, to distill our water this is what we use for drinking water for cooking all that good stuff so I would highly recommend that you guys get that and I'll put a link in the description box below just in case you're interested and then the last thing is this so this is obviously a five gallon bucket and it's in my freezer um, the reason why I did this is because flour can get weevils in it um, they're these little microscopic bugs or something like that. Um, so how you prevent that from happening is you put the flour in the freezer for about 72 to 96 hours. I'm going to go with the full 96 because I don't want no problems. Um, so that's why I have it in here and I'm going to do these, this to all of my flour buckets just to make sure, you know, there's no problems. Um, so that's the last thing that I wanted to show you guys. So all in all, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you guys are stockpiling, getting ready for whatever is to come. If we've learned anything from this coronavirus pandemic, pandemic, um, is that we should always be prepared. Um, so y'all, if y'all have any questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. I will be more than happy to assist and answer any questions that you have. But yeah, you guys have an amazing Sunday and, you know, stay prepared. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shalom. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different.